Hey guys, thanks for tuning into this session. So this is going to be a really quick video on how we're going to create these buttons right here, or these context menus, kind of where you can hold down and you get this, uh, this menu where you can do things like edit or delete or whatever you want, really. Uh, you'll see how customizable they are. But just one quick plug, I just want to let you guys know that there's actually a whole set of playlists for you know a bunch of different things depending on what you're looking for. So anything from uh, full stack development to Firebase and working with Google's uh, backend, or even this, uh, this is essentially just a series of uh, videos that all have to do with things that people requested, um, pretty much requested me to make tutorials on, or want to see how it could be done. So please feel free to look through those and see if there's anything you like, and please don't forget to subscribe. But on to the video now, all right? So let's go ahead and look at Xcode. So let's go ahead and create a new project. So we're going to uh, start a brand new one. So we do file, new project. Okay, and then I'm going to create a single view app. It's going to be really quick. I'm just going to say code tutorial, and we'll call this context menu. Okay, and the reason it's called context menu is because that is what this is literally called. So now you have a pretty much like a name for the face. Okay, so context code tutorial context menu. Okay, and we'll create the project right there. And then once we get going, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of the navigator. I'm going to get rid of the sidebar on that side. And I'm going to run this app right off the get-go. And then while that's setting up, I'm going to just modify this text here to say press hard. Okay, so here it is. It ran successfully. Okay, so press hard. I'm going to minimize this so we can see everything on one screen. Okay. Just bring everything over onto one desktop. There we go. So we're on the code tutorial context menu. Okay. So this is now it's going to say press hard. And when you press hard, we're going to give it a context menu. Okay. In the context menu, we can essentially declare its context content like so. Maybe uh, we'll do a V stack actually. Okay. And the V stack is going to have maybe two buttons. I like to bring buttons in like this. Button one. Okay. And there's button two. Okay, and so now if I literally just run this as is, we already have a context menu. Believe it or not, it's that easy. All you have to do is have a text and let it know that this is going to be the context menu. So when I press hard here, I get a context menu with button and button. And now I'm just going to make this one say edit. Maybe this one will say delete. Okay, and you know you can leave it just by clicking anywhere else. So edit and delete. This one, I'm, I can put any function I want here, okay? So just to show you that, I'm going to create a state variable here. Okay, var uh, at state var counter. Okay, and the counter is going to be equal to zero. And we'll put three buttons here. Actually, we'll put this one will say plus one, and this one will say cancel. Okay, even though you don't really have to have a cancel button, you can just click anywhere. And the action for cancel will be pretty much nothing. This action will be self dot counter plus equal one. Okay, so when I save it and run it, actually right here, I'm going to put print canceling. Okay, and I'm going to run it. Now that it successfully ran, you'll see that I can press hard. Okay, and I can cancel. Or I forgot to put it right here. This one will say press hard. And then I'll put counter. Okay, so it'll show me the value next to it. So run it one more time. So you can see that the text is going to say press hard zero, and then when I press hard and plus one, now it says press hard one. Okay. That's pretty interesting that every time I press hard, it actually takes it back to zero. I couldn't tell you why it does that, actually. That's uh, that's unanticipated. Um, my guess is that it has something to do with the fact that we're putting this inside of the actual text. And if we had it somewhere else, it probably wouldn't do that. But it is what it is. We can see that the actual state variable is being changed in real time because when you get out of the context menu, the uh, counter keeps going up. Okay, so that's that. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me in the comments below. Uh, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys.